Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News update. Today's date, June 19, 2024, time about 3 p.m. in Texas. Some of the things I'll be covering, uh, Texas and uh, Tropical Storm Alberto, Earth Tilt, Bio Number 1, Antarctica, NYPD, watch out and Georgia and their voter count. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, BP Earthwatch, Stephen Gardner, Mike from around the world, Cliff High, Cool Down, Kingston Report, Dr. John Campbell, Greg Hunter with USA Watchdog Plus. So let's get started. We're going to begin. Uh, I have some Patriot subscribers. I have a Patriot subscriber who says, We're having heavy chemtrails in the panhandle of Florida. Another Patriot subscriber. I have been seeing a radar balloon over the Florida Keys. And uh, we have also you 2 uh, back in the U.S. from England. And I'm seeing E-4Bs. Those are, I think those E-4Bs, I think those are command planes moving south. And do the blue helmets deflect directed energy weapons? Yeah, we saw those blue roofs in Lahaina deflect the dew. We did. I always wondered about that too. I have a Patriot subscriber, JB, support, uh, uh, gets support from people through fear, and uh, my words, warmongers, and billions of dollars have been sent to Ukraine. Yeah, and a certain percentage came back to the politicians' deep, sticky, greedy pockets, too, I believe. I have a Patriot subscriber talking about an earthquake in Kissimmee, Florida. That happened on June 18, 4.2, about 11 a.m. in the morning. So now we're going to begin with the, I'll begin by talking about the, finally, a tropical storm, Alberto, being a named storm. I woke up this morning and was, assessing things and I'm like what's what's up because even yesterday we had sustained winds of 40 miles per hour the criteria to name a storm is um, sustained winds of 39 miles per hour plus a decline in the millibar measurement of atmospheric pressure and we had already seen that at went down from 1,007 to 9,097. So this morning they did, at 10 a.m., they did name it, Alberta. It is still not a well-organized system, but it does fit the criteria for naming a tropical system. It has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, current um uh, a barometric pressure 995 and it's moving at nine miles per hour now bp earth watch is bringing out that it fills up the gulf of mexico and the bay of campeche even though it i mean it's huge even though it's a not a well organized storm it's predicted to go, bring heavy rain and wind to central america mexico and in texas up to Corpus. Yesterday we had uh, tropical system warnings all across the coast of Texas, especially Galveston and then into Louisiana to uh, New Orleans, Lake Charles, but all that went away this morning. So that's where we are. Now, currently there's another disorganized system uh, in the Bay of Campeche. Off the coast of Florida, we have another disorganized system. 20% chance of further development in the next 48 hours or the next seven days. So, 
I thought I would begin by also going over uh, some information I brought out recently from Mike from around the world. And that had to do with uh, the next 18 months seeing 400 foot rise in sea level and seeing uh, the U.S move from this latitude down to this latitude, the equator. So about Kentucky, I'm moving down to the equator. 1,825 miles as we move the U.S. down to the equator. We would also be moving the Arctic and Antarctica. So that's why... I, one of my Patriot subscribers was talking about, oh, Earth tilt and an ice age, yeah. So we have the Arctic, we have Antarctica, we have the tilt from the U.S. down to the equator. So I'm moving down in latitude. What that means, latitude controls your climate uh, because that, dictates your position in relation to the sun. So we had the U.S. moving down 1,825 miles to the equator in 18 months and seeing a rise in sea level of approximately 400 feet or 22 feet per month. Now, my take on this, and as we see the rotation of the Earth, we would see the Arctic in warmer waters, Antarctica shifted in warmer waters, and I have some information on Antarctica. So we would see a melting of the glaciers that would put fresh water into our oceans, uh, a, it's my academic training in this area of global climate that in the past, uh, this dumping and melting of uh, glaciers and releasing fresh water into the salt water eventually stops the ocean currents, which is also a big contributor to climate and brings on an ice age. So that's the association between those items. Now I'm wondering if this shift that's coming on is uh, contributing to this disorganized tropical system we're currently seeing. Maybe yes, maybe no. Now across time and space, we have seen cycles uh, that can be tens of thousands of years long or longer. Uh, BP and suspicious observers are keying on a 13,000 year cycle during which we see different things maybe every 6,000 years, 3,000 years, different parts of it. I submit that uh, appears accurate to me. Now, I believe uh, that God uh, allows or facilitates extinction level events uh, as a form of judgment, primarily due to genetic manipulation. Uh, recall from the Bible, we had the fallen angels, and they mated with humans. But they also engaged in genetic manipulation of animals and plants. And eventually that brought on the flood in the time of Noah. And um, Noah and his family were allowed to remain and repopulate the earth because they had not been genetically manipulated. Now, across time and space, we also had Atlantis. And uh, I believe the reason for their extinction level event, that was about 50,000 to 12,000 years ago. They engaged in both genetic manipulation, 
but they also engaged in destruction to the earth's core. And I submit to you, I believe that some of these Nephilim family lines are definitely engaging in both genetic manipulation and are doing things that would affect the earth's core via harp, scalar waves, and more. So is it any, uh, uh, can we speculate that might be contributing to uh, the current uh, earth tilt? But in space, we have the sun, we have the earth, we and our solar system with our other planets. Now, the earth is tilting, and according to uh, Mike from around the world, also Jupiter is tilting as is Mars tilting, the Earth is tilting. This would fit with the scenario of a dark star coming into our solar system and tilting the planets in one way or another. This part uh, fits with both physical science and social science, uh, ancient records of the Chinese, I know Egyptians, uh, Native Americans, and other uh, human civilizations who way back in their past have told similar stories. Now, one thing I received from God is that we would see new stars. And I believe Mike from around the world also came out with that information. We see an earth tilt, we would see new stars. So I submit uh, this is going on. And I believe genetic manipulation is going on. I believe um, things are being done to the core of the earth. Also, do I believe God is going to bring about an extinction level event? I don't have that perception, no. So, I'll give you some examples of genetic manipulation that is going on now that we've been exposed to. Most recently was bio number, bio weapon number one. That was the COVID pharma for the arm. And what proof do we have for that? We had a recent court come out and say the COVID farmer for the arm is not a vax. It didn't fit the criteria. And we have other sources bringing out the COVID farmer for the arm, not a vax. It wasn't designed to be uh, to stop the spread of any disease. We had a court coming out. This was a U.S. court. This was a Portugal court came out and said the PCR test uh, used globally to test for uh, the COVID is 90, gives a 97% fake positive. And the creator of this uh, instrument, measuring instrument all, always said it was not a test for the COVID. We also saw in the COVID spike proteins, which are now causing uh, uh, various illnesses, uh, uh, such as affecting the heart. We see an increase in heart disease. We see an increase in fast-acting cancers. We see an increase uh, in death rates. Um, this has been well substantiated on a global basis by Dr. John Campbell, a nursing prof in England. But for the death in the U.S., uh, I had uh, multiple sources. I also verified this myself in the U.S. life insurance industry all across the U.S., they had seen a 40% increase in deaths 
of the primary working labor pool, 25 to 49. This happened in 2021 and 2022. So sad to say, the COVID uh, was always a propaganda uh, machine to then entice people, and they were also propagandized uh, with the efficacy, how effective the COVID for the arm was. So we saw a bioweapon that came through the pharma for the arm. The COVID um, situation was just to prompt people to get the pharma for the arm. One way they did it, in death rates, uh, they took uh, flu and pneumonia and car accidents and shootings and every other cause of death and put it into the COVID to scare people into getting the real bioweapon, which was the pharma for the arm. Now we see uh, Chris Cuomo, formerly an anchor with CNN, no longer able to work. So Chris Cuomo, formerly an anchor with CNN, now says he has vax injury and that his doctor has prescribed ivermectin. And now we see another uh, individual active in the deep state. We see Letitia James. Letitia James, who is the Attorney General for New York State, coming out and sending, according to Greg Hunter with USA Watchdog, cease and desist letters to doctors to stop prescribing ivermectin, which is very effective uh, against COVID, which was a form of the flu, and it's very effective against uh, and helps individuals who have been injured by the pharma for the arm prescribed and given for the COVID. Yeah. So we have that going on. Now, I believe that this COVID, pharma for the arm, was a form of genetic manipulation because it wasn't designed to stop the disease. It was designed to do other things. One of them is uh, to take down human uh, immune system. It was also to take down human fertility. It was also designed to injure through the spike proteins. So I believe bio number one, the COVID, the pharma for the arm was the real bio weapon. And it was designed to take down the human immune system. If it did not cause immediate death, if you had underlying conditions or to cause uh, significant health issues over a period of years, was also designed to decrease both male and female human fertility. I see the COVID, the bioweapon number one, as a form of genetic manipulation. So that's going on. So do I think God is going to destroy the world for the global bioweapon COVID? Uh, I don't think that. Uh, but there are much more active forms of genetic manipulation. There's um, uh, active uh, bio labs underground. Uh, the DARPA, a part of DARPA, had 37 of them, I believe, underground in Ukraine. 
where active um, genetic manipulation was going on and, and the scientists there were trying to come up with a specific bioweapon that would kill the Slavic people. Uh, that's the Slavic genetic line in Ukraine. Is both the people who spoke Ukraine and the people who spoke Russia. And Zelensky uh, said one of his military objectives was to de-Slav Ukraine. Get rid of the Slavic genetic line. Well, he was essentially making a public statement that one of his military objectives was to kill every single Ukrainian man, woman, and child to get rid of the Slavic bloodline. You know, he's a puppet for the deep state. So now, I've been talking about Earth Tilt and what we would likely see the effect on the Arctic and Antarctica. And so some information is coming out from the cool down. Talking about, so we have Antarctica. On the west side, we have a large glacier, the Wadis, also called the Doomsday Glacier. Because when it melts, yes, very likely to bring on and contribute to an ice age. So it's melting much faster than the scientists anticipated at 50 billion tons per year. And that it currently contributes 4% to a global sea rise. But the melting is speeding up and when it completely melts uh, they discovered a large part of it under the sea level when this melts it will raise globally the sea level 11 feet uh, enough to submerge cities like new york city and shanghai so we see that going on should we be uh, completely set back in doom and gloom? I think not, because I believe God is in charge, and he's certainly capable of uh, riding the earth or stopping the tilt and stopping the dark star. So it's good to prep and pray. And I believe that we are seeing, yes, uh, a form of genetic manipulation through the bioweapons such as the pharma for the arm for COVID. Now chemtrails, uh, we've been seeing those. And uh, Mike from around the world had said the chemtrails were to protect the earth because we do have a decreasing electromagnetic shield around the earth and that's letting in more dangerous radiation from the sun. That's correct. But I found a second source, a physicist, Dr. Brooks Agnew, who also corroborates this. And I found his statement came out in 2019. Mike made his statement oh, a few months ago, that the U.S. government and governments around the world knew that putting in the chemtrails would make sick or even kill a certain percentage of the population in the U.S., but the alternative was to have a dramatic increase in radiation sickness in the U.S., and radiation sickness was a term I heard from God like last year. So, okay, so that's one explanation for chemtrails, but that goes along with these major earth changes we're seeing. Now, Cliff High has also brought this out, that the chemtrails contain a, a high amount of aluminum, barium, strontium, that causes mind control in humans. It's actually 
higher in whites and lower in uh, individuals with dark skin. Now we know that uh, New Orleans has a high percentage of uh, uh, Creole and African Americans. And I've been hearing from a Patriot subscriber in New Orleans for about a year, heavy chemtrails every day over New Orleans. So that would tend to support what uh, Cliff High is saying. Now, Cliff says the, the Cliff's take, take on this being a part of a mind control system could also be accurate. We could have multiple reasons for the chemtrails to be in place. So we have that going on. I'm telling you, the deep state wants to take us out, but I don't think God is going to allow that. Now, coming out uh, in support of this position I'm taking with the COVID pharma for the arm being a bioweapon is we have a lawsuit going on by the Kansas AG versus Pfizer. And uh, this uh, says uh, from the Kingston report reporting uh, Kansas AG Chris Kobach filing a lawsuit against Pfizer, nine counts, including consp conspiracy and unconscionable acts. And this, in uh, the basis of the lawsuit, is that it violates Kansas Consumer Protection Act and uh, also includes one count of civil conspiracy and the conspiracy according to the kansas ag pfizer conspired with the u.s government the department of uh, hhs and we know the nih operated by fauci was has for years been involved with the production of the covid which began at Fort Detrick in the U.S. Now, the, in the U.S., it's illegal to go into a lab, engage in gain of function, and make a bioweapon. So Fauci moved it from Fort Detrick to the Wuhan lab in China. So this lawsuit by Kansas is against Pfizer, the U.S. government, and NGOs, all of which engaged in a propaganda program to play, put fear in the U.S. population so that they would accept receiving the real bioweapon, the COVID pharma for the arm. And it puts forth that these groups, Pfizer, the U.S. government, and NGOs, willfully concealed the true status of the real safety and eff efficacy, how well the COVID Pharma for the Arm would work. So, yeah, that's going on. So, a lawsuit has been filed. That's the first of many. Now, Recently, we saw a, it was a U.S. court who also came out and said the COVID farmer for the arm was not a vax. So we have that going on. Now we have some, something serious going on. We know that the Dems and the deep state have let in millions of CCP military, Iranian military terrorists from around the world. So this comes out from Hal Turner, the New York Police Department. Several things have been stolen that these uh, military, foreign military, or um, um, possibly we have some blue hats concealed among our population, are terrorists 
could use in New York City where these individuals would uh, uh, put on uniforms and other things to indicate that they were New York Police Department. So I'll go over what has been stolen. So they had 19 uniforms stolen. That was from the uh, dry cleaners. And the thing to look for, according to NYPD, if you are in a situation in New York City that looks dangerous, to determine if these are real police officers is look for badges. Because so far, they have not been able to steal real badges. They did steal 19 real NYPD uniforms. They did steal 200 sets of auto decals. You know, that they could take a plane vehicle, mark it up with these decals, and it would look like a New York City police uh, car. These were stolen from the vendor that makes the decals. And they had 31 unassigned walkie-talkies stolen also. Typically, each police officer has their own walkie-talkie that can be identified uh, by a system in uh, the New York Police Department based on the voice of the individual. So like you have a computer, you would see the number of the walkie-talkie. The system can also identify the voice of the police officer and authenticate uh, their identity. But they have unassigned walkie-talkies to use for special uh, team e efforts or exercises or whatever. So, these were stolen. Uh, they're Motorola VX P949s. And I assume they would have been stolen from inside the New York Police Department. So, the New York Police Department is putting this information out so the public is aware that they need to be cautious. And as I said, they said, look for the badges if they look real or fake. So, that we can pray for New York City. And now, this is coming out from Stephen Gardner. We know we saw a political coup in January of 2021 after the last presidential election in 2020. Well, there are still questions about the vote, and there's a lot of questions in Georgia, especially Fulton County, you know, where Fannie is drumming up fake charges against President Trump. So we had also in Cobb County. Now, right after the election, November 2020, we had the political coup by Congress in January of 2021. So right after that, uh, President uh, Trump's team and Republicans had put together audit teams uh, to verify uh, votes in different states. And the states are required to keep a digital photo of each ballot for two years. But when they came in March of 2021, they found that huge numbers of alleged ballots had already been destroyed by the state of Georgia. So we have in Fulton County, 380,000 ballots had already been destroyed. 
and in Cobb County, 393,000 had already been destroyed. So it looks like a cover-up for sure. A short prayer. I'll use the modified version of General uh, Patton's World War II prayer. And we pray, Father, for fair weather for battle. We ask that you guide us from victory to victory and that you crush our enemies, domestic and foreign. And we say thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.